Hello, I'm Celia Klin, the Dean of Harper College of Arts and Sciences, and I welcome you to the 2021 Grad Walk of the State University of New York at Binghamton. Everyone, please rise as you are able and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Everyone, please be seated. Before we continue, I want to thank our council representatives, administrators, and faculty members who are joining us on the stage today. Congratulations, Harper College Class of 2021. What a wild ride this has been. Who would have believed when you first arrived on campus that your final year in college would look like this? That you'd be wearing a mask with your graduation gown? That the words Zoom, social distancing, and Pfizer would be part of your vocabulary? Maybe in part because of the challenges, because there has been so much worry, it is even more wonderful than usual to be together today. Although this big space is a bit quieter this year than it has been during past graduations, today this space is entirely filled with celebration and joy. I am so grateful to see all of you here today, graduates, families, and friends, so that we can share this amazing, wondrous moment. And to the graduates, I urge you to take some time to reflect on your years at Binghamton I hope you can pause and take a trip down memory lane. Before you move on to the next phase of your life, take some time to think back on the years you spent here, in this place that has become home, and celebrate all of your accomplishments. Remember your first semester, those first classes on a new campus, and the strangers who eventually became lifelong friends. And think about all the pages you have read, all the papers you have written, all the tests you have taken, all the hours you have spent talking with friends. As you think back on your time here, all your struggles and heartbreaks, all your victories and proud moments, take a moment to recognize all the ways you have grown and changed since you first arrived on campus. And know that all that you have learned and the people you have met will help you tackle the challenges that are yet to come. I hope that your years here brought you new passions and dreams, knowledge and wisdom, deep friendships and sweet memories. 
I hope that your time at Harper College was filled with growth and hope and joy. We are so proud of you and so grateful that you were part of our Binghamton University community. Congratulations, class of 2021. It is now my pleasure to introduce President Harvey Stenger. Thank you, Celia. <sighs> Parents, families, friends, we did it. <clears throat> Faculty, staff, we did it. Students, you did it. Today, we are taking time to recognize one of the most distinguished classes in Binghamton University's history, the class of 2021. This has been a remarkable year for a remarkable class marked most notably by the COVID-19 pandemic, which required finding new ways to learn, to conduct research and scholarship, and perhaps most importantly, new ways to build and strengthen the social ties that define one's college years. So let me begin by extending to our graduates a heartfelt congratulations for a job well done I also want to extend my thanks to all of the parents and family members whose support and compassion have been crucial in the success of our students. Your role is especially noteworthy this year as students learned remotely, unexpectedly competing for space and bandwidth when the campus went dark. These students, these graduates, have had to work through challenges that few other classes have had to endure. So today is a great day, the commencement for the class of 2021. So what does it mean to graduate or commence from this university? Historically, the recipient of the baccalaureate degree is acknowledged to have a level of expertise that allows you to advance or commence in your chosen profession, adding to the quality of life we lead as global citizens. Similarly, a master's degree signifies a deeper study of a field or discipline, a mastery of the subject suitable to teach others. This is the culmination of a long and challenging journey a journey filled with the excitement of exploration and discovery, the guidance of faculty mentors, and the friendship of colleagues and peers. Think back to the start of your journey, to your first days at the university. For those entering as first year students, fresh out of high school, you began by choosing a field of study, history, chemistry, or English, or perhaps you decided to follow the most popular first year major, undeclared. Our graduate students, of course, already had a degree, only to discover that the more they knew about the field, the more there was to know. But every one of you was excited to tease out the connections between apparently unrelated disciplines or points of inquiry with your studies becoming broader and deeper. Your research became more exacting, your scholarship more penetrating, and your creativity more vibrant and thought-provoking. In other words, you discovered a passion. What I've discovered, and I hope you have too, is that developing a passion requires hard work. You must deeply engage yourself in a subject, learning its inner workings and investing your time and intelligence. So I hope that Binghamton has given you the tools to find your passion, one that you will continue to renew and rediscover, and in so doing, let Binghamton inform your future years. 
I am so proud of Binghamton University's graduates and the education they have received. Your nation and the world need your talents. Today, more than ever, we need scientists to make breakthroughs that improve lives and leaders in government and industry who combine expertise and compassion in their daily work. We need writers, artists, and poets who show us a new lens by which we can view the world. But most of all, we need people who are committed and engaged practitioners working to make society better, one decision at a time. Today, we face great challenges, a pandemic to overcome, social and economic inequities, and perhaps most pressing, a world growing warmer. Challenges like these require the work and imagination of people in a wide range of fields and disciplines working together across international borders. People with skills and expertise, and most of all, a passion for solving challenging puzzles. People like you. I look forward to learning of your many future successes, and I hope that you will remain steadfast members of the Binghamton University community. Congratulations to you all. For those of you who have successfully completed all degree requirements by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York and the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I am pleased to recognize conferral upon each of these graduates the appropriate baccalaureate or master's degree with all the rights and privileges accompanying it. As is customary, upon conferral of the baccalaureate degree, you may now move your tassel from the right to the left. At this time, we will recognize our students by name on the stage so that all may receive recognition for their academic achievements. Colton Riffle. Matthew Da Silva. David Dropkin. Daniel Gadassi. Kate Simpson. Alexandria Pollock. Michael Haberstroh. Alan Palacios. Courtney Delello, Eric Matuzovich, Matthew Tilly. Patrick Bush. <laughs> William Talbot Share. <laughs> Sebastian Pepe. <laughs> Ruth Black.
Eleanor Colton. Gabriel Costley. Alyssa Strickland. <laughs> Liam Cassidy. Tyler Gulick. Isaiah Damoski. Andrew Kennedy. Christian Buashri. Elizabeth Lemus. Isabel Velilla. Brittany Corsa. Alexandra G. Dion DiMasio. Zoe Heiderstadt. Andrew Kowalczyk. Stephen Chan. Riley Balthazar. Sarah Boya. Rachel Berry. Naladri Day. Matthew Ote. Joshua Bean. Matthew Olbing. Ian Cooper Smith. Megan Callanan. Ryan Casey. Thomas Bartlett. Naya Joyner. Daniel Ogden. Jada Garel. Kayla Wood. Wun Zheng Chin. <laughs> Haley Budendek. <laughs> K. 
Caitlin Cottrell. Adam Bassler. Aiden Murphy. Dylan Burke. Noel Marco Tuilo. Nicholas Alban. Valerie Luong. Amelia Yotter. Wen Yu Zeng. Ying Zhang. Christine Hurley. Kenneth Orolana. Hannah Hoff. Ezra Rifkin. Cornel Smith. Hunter Destafano. Daniel Corona. Samir Arman. Jaslyn Tan. Bjorn Jawanda. Jenna Mizzy. Subin Yang. <laughs> Stephen Bass. Vishnu Nair. Katarina Boot. Marianne Anderson. Nicole Perlman. Kenfra Kim. Michael McPadden. Thomas McKee. <laughs> Mubarak Mursalin. <laughs> Ali.
Olivia Belton. Thank you. Sylvia Nyman. Adis Burak Tarakvich. Ulysses Campeche. Eric Hernandez. Jesse Chuki Taipte. Talia Sikorsky. Alexana, Alexander Sierra Vino. Pariha Rahman. William Almanzar. Brianna Yarrington. Alexandra Dulos. Alexander Elgart. Molly Schottmiller. Ida Ahmed. Laura Finnegan. Benjamin Portnoy. Margaret Saria. Adeswa Otago. Michael Abaton. <laughs> Eric Bishop. Barack Harari. Yusuf Dabash. <laughs> Jose Gaviria. Mark Ochwery. Robert Flora. Katie Vitale. Jacob Haran. (laughs) 
Ariana Crescimano. Delilah Yalikun. Kayana LeBron. William Lee. Judy Lamb. Jerry Chen. Andrew Lee. Anya Daly. Brian Edmondson. Kyle Singh. Luis Arias. <laughs> Nina Ovens. <laughs> Matthew Martinucci. Thank you for joining us in celebrating our graduates. This concludes our commencement ceremony.